And I wish I'd been there to see it. How many of their cabs did you guys manage to destroy? That's uh, not the number of cabs that counts. It's the quality of the impression that you make. Hey, man, we didn't do nothing but lose. And that's the impression that we made. It's fine to sit here and discuss old victories, but Captain Cab is getting ready to roll. And as his trusty canine companion, I suggest that it's time that we deliver our warning. For a warning must be delivered first, before Captain Cab can seek to avenge injustice. Hi, I'm Vern, veterinarian. Have you seen my old chum, Saki? <laughs> Never mind. Are you sure he's okay? I mean, he doesn't seem quite normal. That sock is telling the truth. He's absolutely right. It's time for Mr. Crane to learn his days are numbered. Amy, you got that info? Crane lives on Crescent View Drive. The security there is very tight. I think it's going to be hard to get to him. I think we're going to be better off trying to take him at one of his clubs. He's got a golf membership, and he belongs to a tennis club. No, I think we'd shake him up more if we got him at home. Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, he wouldn't listen to us, but I'll bet he listened to Clarence Wickersham III. Animal, this is really making me nervous. What's the matter? What's the matter? We're taking my brand new car into a situation where it could get shot up. I like to take good care of it, Animal. I'm real sentimental. No. Don't worry. If things get rough, I'll have him shoot around it. Very funny. Hey, what's that? Mute, where'd you get it? Cal Freeman. Pretty. No, 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 you don't. You got BA's frequency meter? Hi there. Yeah, Mr. Clarence Wickersham III from Dallas, Texas, to see Mr. Crane. Is he expecting you? I'm the new owner of the Lone Star Cab Company. Don't waste my time, sonny. Get your boss on the phone. I don't understand why you had to do this in character, Hannibal. Unless, of course, it's because you haven't had an acting job in a while. Is uh, that it? No. If I can convince Crane there's a new big money player in the game, he might just pay up. I think we've got to give him the opportunity before we take him and his company apart, don't you? Why not? Okay, you can go on up. They're opening the gates now. Thank you. Did you get the frequency? 23.6. It's an oddball frequency he's got, but they're good security. Good. Get BA. Tell him we're waiting on him. BA, your frequency is 23.6. We'll signal you in. Okay, get out. Short on manners, aren't you? Hey, Pop. Get out. What's this? I have a heart condition. Pacemaker. Very good. You came to see Mr. Crane? You get five minutes. He's around back. I got to take my nephew, Harold. He's a little retarded, but he is a nurse. Retarded? And a notary public. If your boss and I make a deal, Harold can make things legal. Uncle Clarence. Shut up, Harold. He's a good nurse, but he won't eat his supper unless we let him wear his football helmet. Football helmet? <laughs> Never should have mentioned it. See what I mean? He wanted to wear it out here today. <clears throat> okay, who are you? I am Clarence Wickersham III. And this is my nephew, Harold. So what do you want? I'm the new owner of the Lone Star Cab Company. You've been causing us some trouble. I don't know what you're talking about. 
That right. My associates tell me that you were responsible for the destruction of a large number of our taxi cabs. I'm here to suggest that you make restitution for those vehicles. Oh, you are, are you? Yes, sir. And I've kept account. Here, I'll pay attention. Give the man the numbers. Hi, how you doing? That's $160,000, plus interest since the date of the accidents of $33,000 for a grand total of $193,000. I love your suit. I'm not paying you a cent. I was afraid you'd act like that. Now, I'm a man of fundamentalist upbringing. I never go to the authorities, so... Your failure to pay up will cost you an equal number of vehicles. A biblical solution, I think you'll agree. Ryder, strike. Teach the Kentucky colonel here and his pretty friend what happens to people who threaten me. Pretty friend? Take him to the edge of town and wrap him up in blankets. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Help! Yeah, I, 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 I. What is he doing? What's wrong with it's him? It's his heart condition. You see, I, uh... I'll be all right. I need to readjust his pacemaker. He uh, refuses to have an implant, so I have to tape it to his chest. That's it. Let's go. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> this is some kind of signaling device. Well, now, Harold, did you tape the wrong device to my chest? No wonder I've been feeling poorly. Get them out of here. <laughs> deal call me in an hour if you don't you better watch what streets you drive because a lone star cab company's going on the warpath we're not taking any prisoners You bums let them get in here. Hmm? This is garbage. I don't know. They had the front gate frequency. How could they get the front gate frequency? It's reset every day. I don't know. Okay, okay. This guy wants a war. He's gonna get a war. Hmm? Mm -hmm. 